to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. No matter how accurate what we say is, we still see in part. The word of God, scripture, must be exalted above every gift and every prophetic word. This becomes your comfort that even though we may not have the time to mention everybody's name and even if there is time, we do not have, the Bible says, though I speak with tongues of men and angels, though I understand all visions and all of that, we are limited. But it's for you to believe. Sir, I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from, sir? Abuja here. Can I pray for you? God is lifting people. This is what I'm seeing. God is lifting people. God is showing me someone, you work in civil defense. It's time for your lifting. This is, this is civil defense. Civil defense. Now, Madam, you work in civil defense. I will pray for you, but is there anybody on the balcony that works in civil defense? This is what I'm seeing. This is a lady, or not a man. Is there someone like that? Balcony. Oh, find out. Find out first. Where, where were you sitting? Come. Come and stand here. This is the place of encounter. Hallelujah. My dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is the issue that is on the table. According to the word of the Lord, if God could locate you, I declare, and I also pray for you, also civil defense, madam, I want to pray for you. Where are you from? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will come and stand, both of you. You will stand here before the people of God and you will testify of strange liftings. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Sir, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Daddy, I don't know why you are standing outside here, but I want to pray for you. We are going to pray for the sick. I'm going to pray for you. Is it husband and wife? Madam, I need to pray because I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. Can I talk to you? Ah, we have to pray. I believe in miracles. God is taking sickness. Sickness. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing many things. I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down, up and down, up and down. This is BP. Two people will start running in the overflow outside. Outside. Now, we may not have time to bring them out outside. I'm seeing the power of God outside, the overflow outside. Just bring them to the front of the projector screen. I want to pray for them because the Lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families. This is what the Lord is showing me. Sir, may my God bless you in the name of Jesus. And for you, sir, may my God, please stand up. You're a worker. What do you want God to do for you? Look at a wise man. You heard what he said? He said, I want to know him more. Is it no relationship that brought this privilege now? 
Don't you think relationship has other privileges too? The greatest prayer request is relationship. You can have a man's hand, but when you have his heart, you have access to everything. Are we together? And I truly pray that God will help you to know him more. The Holy Ghost that was given to us to help us know the Lord. But in addition to that, the fringe benefits of that relationship that is speaking your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know why God is visiting the workers. One of you, ushers here, the power of God is coming on you. Eh? you I know you are ushers, you are doing your work, but let God visit you first, then you continue doing what you're doing. I'm seeing the power of God on the ushers now. We're going to... I'm seeing a strong anointing. Sir, there is something the devil put on your throat. Sir? This is what I'm saying. I don't know you, sir. Let, let, let the wife talk. Madam, please talk to us. They say that it's cancer and they're going to operate it so that you won't talk again. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure I got it. There's something that is on truth that sees this. This is what I'm saying. I'm, and they, there is cancerous. I'm going to operate him and there's no, 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 human agent in partnership with dark powers over your husband madam or over your wife sir or over your children or over your parents I bow my knees to the God of my covenant and I declare in the name of Jesus that thing is destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now help them destroyed now Please stand up. Let me tell you this. You see, one of the ways that God helps you to dispense the anointing is he plants compassion in you over the lives of people. This is somebody's father and grandfather. Now he's saying that, look, doctors are a miracle. They are instruments of God's mercy. Without them, we'll not even live to even learn the ways of God. But look what is happening to this man now. We're about to pray for the sick shortly. I'm sure there's a reason why the Lord left him here. That he came together with our mother here. And now, they are, I don't know what kind of surgery they are going to do now. But that he will never be able to speak again. Sir. Come again. So that is either life or death. Don't worry, madam. You are in the right place. You are a man of God here. Please listen to me. You see the reason why we must keep contending for the anointing. It's not enough to say I'm Apostle Joshua Selman. I am this. Our alignment. There are destinies tied to our obedience. There are destiny tied to our prayer, our fasting, our diligence. The miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to Jesus. So no matter what level you are in ministry, please let this thing plant a genuine hunger. All these celebrity things that destroy us, push it one side and settle with God. Carry genuine fire, ever increasing fire yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges you will need fresh fire for the season and if you are not ready to stay with god don't ask god to give you members what will you be doing with them it's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time share the grace and go back Please don't be offended. I'm not, I'm just sharing with you a passion. I'm looking at this man's situation. Daddy, we're going to pray for you. 
and I believe Jesus that he will do a miracle for you I don't know what it is that he has put and then God will heal you of BP because I saw a thermometer going up and coming down can we pray for the sick now in the name of Jesus please no stand up sir God bless you my people have prayed for you you can go back to your seat let's pray for the sick now it's important you see I know that we live in very challenging times and the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people we had the miracle service in Zaria um, day before yesterday and I was touched and broken when a woman came who had showed me they, they were doing dialysis for her it's a family that is not well very well to do and then in the midst of it now I'm not a doctor but medical people will tell you here I don't know how much it costs to do dialysis but it's a very serious thing hallelujah but Jesus still heals and right now please listen we have to do it very fast because I know your prayer requests are here by the way if you are yet to write it please make sure that you do so quickly but I'm going to minister to the sick right now and when I pray for you all the overflows outside following online maybe some of you are following from hospitals on a sick bed death sentence about to go I want you to believe Jesus hallelujah as soon as I pray for you listen please the power of God will come upon you already miracles have started happening now this is what will happen as soon as the power of God touches you and I ask you to check yourself I want you to run out here please whether they are overflow one two three down to the basement or outside those online you can register your testimony online I want you to come out use either this place no 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 you don't have to bring them out I'm praying for them right from there so whether you come out from here or here once you are healed then you bring them out you don't have to bring the sick out they'll crowd this place I'm just going to pray for you this is just because our father came out and stood here are we together now lay your hands very quickly everyone if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest he touched me the master touched me and oh, what joy fills my soul. Something happened, and now I know He touched me. There'll be a loud shout of a gentleman and a lady the moment that shout happens the healing power of Jesus will begin to move a gentleman and a lady now we're ready to pray please I'd like you to believe with a loud amen as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my God the healing anointing is flowing here in the name of Jesus Christ every devil behind infirmities you don't have to bring them out right now miracles are happening I command those devils to give way now give way now give way now now in the name of Jesus Christ from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name ulcers be healed in Jesus name all kinds of growths and lumps around the body I command them to disappear now. Bone conditions be healed now. 
those on crutches those on wheelchairs in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed now and you try to stand up you're on a crutch leave the crutch and start walking in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ deaf ears partial deafness complete deafness be healed now blind eyes open now all kinds of cancers and ulcers like our father here now I'm praying for you sir in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands to you and then as a point of contact to everyone having any demonic death sentence in Jesus name be healed now be healed now the Lord is showing me people having severe abdominal problems all kinds of abdominal problems here the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone what you have looks like what we call Parkinson's I think I'm right that thing that makes you to just shake your body shakes in the name of Jesus I declare may the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now may the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now be healed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a lady here you don't have anything cancer but your hair falls this is this has been a very demonic thing right now the power of God is touching you be healed now be healed now please don't don't you are punishing this man just keep him somewhere when he's healed he can stand up and come huh the man is trying to stand now don't be embarrassed I want to pray for you you don't have to come out the Lord is showing me a woman you are not um, what do you call it now you are not a nursing mother yet you are lactating now I hope I know what I'm saying praise the Lord but this is what is happening in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a miracle for you now I don't know what the medical condition is but in Jesus name we stop it now there's someone your left is this your left eye you don't see very well with it after this prayer check it right now a miracle is happening to you I'm feeling pains here literally at the left side of my uh, what they call this your kneecap this is somebody's condition right now the power of God is touching you supernatural miracle right now supernatural miracle right now in the name of Jesus Christ back pains all kinds of back pains in the name of Jesus Christ be healed now the Lord is showing me at least eight people you have to take pills to sleep you can't lie down normally and sleep I think there's a medical condition there's a name for it you are, you are not able to lie down and sleep you must take a lot of drugs one of you the power of God is coming on you now that demonic thing we command it to live your life in Jesus name in the name of Jesus and then I'm seeing someone until now I think you have a problem with your shoulder I don't know what it is you cannot lift it as soon as I pray just lift it check yourself do what you cannot do you'll be surprised that the power of God has touched you right now supernatural miracle and then I'm seeing someone you can't walk like walk outside for a long time you become unusually tired you are not a very old person but then you walk no matter how even if you you rested the whole day once you walk out just for a few minutes you become extremely tired the power of God is touching you now you no know, you don't have to come out you check yourself when when it's time to take miracles we'll take them in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing multiple breast lumps the Lord is healing them right now any stranger in your body that has not been planted by God I command it to go out now
Hallelujah. I'm seeing you've been feeling like you are pregnant but you are not pregnant and yet it looks like the symptoms of pregnancy is with you dear this is a demonic thing in the name of Jesus I don't know who that that kind of occurrence you have dreams and you see all these ugly spirits come to molest you and this thing you be, you feel as if you are pregnant physically but then you are not really pregnant in the name of Jesus anyone in fraternity with dark powers that they are taking advantage of you to spy upon your liberty I declare be released right now sugar diabetes be healed now hepatitis be healed now Uh, the Lord is showing me someone is it that you fell down from a bed or you fell down from a building or something and your rib area is like you fell down right there and from that day till now there's been severe pain around your rib area but right now as I'm spraying the power of God is touching you be healed in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed now Three things we're going to do at the same time. Number one, all those check yourself now. Check yourself. You find out there are people that Jesus has healed. Inside, outside, I want you to run quickly. You can come and stand here. People are coming. Celebrate them. Or you stand here. Please come. Check yourself. Check yourself. Please make sure you check them. There will be people here. To ch I spotted Dr. Bukola Williams somewhere. Please, you can help to just verify the people. Let's just have people come in. God has healed you. Please come out and stand. While that is happening, please ushers, PR, you can help them. Please pass your prayer request to the last person at the aisle, whether left or right, and then they lift it up very quickly so that we'll have them together. Very quickly. Jesus is healing people. Koinonia, are you celebrating miracles? From all the overflows, please make your way. Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? Creator of say, Creator of the universe, what can you do? Keep coming, keep coming. All the overflow, just allow those who are healed to come. You're the name, name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change? Jesus, you are a Hallelujah. Let's have a few of the... Do we have the mics? Are they ready? Let's just have a few very quickly, please. Whilst that is happening, please do well. If you need a minute to quickly write your prayer request, please write it. They are bringing all of them to the altar here. We are going to be praying and let the God that answers by fire bring miracles to you. In the name of Jesus, ensure that the overflows, everyone has their prayer request those online i like you to keep faith we're going to pray and the power of god will touch you there yes very quickly please she said she has had it for over a month now but the pain is gone it's gone bend yes. any pain any pain completely in the name of jesus it never returns to you by the power of the holy ghost that anointing comes on you it perfects you in jesus name yes please you mentioned the knee cap challenge Immediately you mentioned that the pain disappeared. So How long have you had it, madam? A month. A month. Check yourself. Any pain? No. Completely gone. Give Jesus praise. Let's celebrate Jesus. Back yeah. pain too. 
Our mommy has had back pain and laps. Let her speak. Go ahead, ma. I've been having pain from my leg and laps for over three months now. And right now. Ah, ah, look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, sir. Pain oh, also, you gave a Hold word on, of please. Knowledge. Just a moment. Yes. So you gave a word of knowledge for the knee. The knee. The knee. How long? For over three months now. Check yourself. It's gone. Completely gone. Every other issue goes like that in the name of Jesus. Yes, please. So we have another knee here. The same, the same problem. Knee. Yeah. Check yourself. It's gone. Completely. It's gone. In the name of all of you. Three months. Yes. Three months. Are you seeing the coin? It looks like coincidences. Everything that is off balance in your life in Jesus' name, restoration comes for it. Yes, sir. 2016. 2016. Yes, sir. Your knee. Yes. And right now, run. You told me to do a surgery. Go ahead, run. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Just a little. Huh? Jump. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never, never returns again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. You mentioned the case of someone that fell from the bay. This is it. She had had the pain in the leg, but the pain is gone. Oh, I'm seeing. Is, is that a bandage or something? Yes. Let her speak. When Straight to the point. Straight to the point. Okay, what, when... what happened? <laughs> don't worry don't worry take your time uh-huh this evening when i came in i had so much pains i had to go to the medical but he kept telling me it was it has to take one month four weeks for me to get well and then i told him i was even this evening i had an engagement he said i should just keep I don't know if it's outside. That I should just keep putting my leg like this and not press the leg so that it doesn't get... Okay, what me. happened now? Well, now I feel a lot better. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands and I declare perfection. Perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. someone with a pain around the, 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 the shoulder. shoulder. Yes, it's gone. Now. gone. Check yourself completely. My goodness. In the name of Jesus, it never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Another case of me can healed. Mama, how long has it been? Uh, since on the second of uh, this month. Okay. I just came back from my mother's burial uh, from the village. The kneecap started, and the same thing happened to my elder sister that I lost on the 13th of uh, January. She came back from the village, and this same thing led to her death. Anybody that digs a pit for you. What happened to Haman? May it happen to them. The rod of the wicked, the Bible says, shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Mama, be healed completely, perfected in Jesus' name. Yes, please go ahead. Places of chest pain at the shoulder and the breast region, they are both healed completely. In the name of Jesus, a miracle for you. Yes, sir. Right. So, Apostle, she's an actress, and she she's having a shortness of breath. And you, you are not dressed. Yes. Uh, I'm an actress. I met a guy on a location brand. And after meeting the guy, after we left the location, got to my hotel room, I start feeling dizzy. And anytime I walk a little, I start feeling weak inside of me. So my pastor's wife gave me the clips, your, one of your clips to watch. And in my dream, you gave me sugar. So I, decided, I told my pastor's wife everything, and he asked me to come here. To from come Lagos. here. Yes, from Lagos, Lagos, you came. Yes. And right now, he's gone. Yes make sure you take a bottle of wine and go and thank your pastor's wife may the lord bless you and if she's watching the lord bless you ma and the lord honor you i decree and declare not only is god bringing perfection even in your career you will thrive go from glory to glory in jesus name ah there's a miracle here praise the lord praise the lord my god security men to help me pack very close to the gate because I can't work with this without this. I have How long? So much pain. How long has it been? Last year, May. Okay. And the doctor told me that I needed total hip replacement. I've been having severe pains like my hip was cut. But while you told uh, the people who were laughing in the spirit to come out, 
I stood up and immediately I just felt the Walk. pain. Walk. Completely gone. Pain. Hmm. Are you celebrating miracles? Look at this. In the name of Jesus, we declare perfection. It never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Give Jesus praise. So we have cases of ulcer being healed, peptic ulcer. So how many years? Peptic ulcer for more than two years. And the pain? Mine is six years. Six years. In the name of Jesus, for all of you who, who have suffered ulcer, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, this healing is, is completely perfected. It will never return back again. In Jesus' name I pray. 24 years. 24 years. Place your hand on your chest. I'm touched just by that. Lord, may it never return. A miracle for you. There's a miracle in this room with my name on There's a breakthrough in this room with my name on Healing for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, sir. My God, there are so many miracles. Let's see what we can do. Yes, please. Healing of the knee. 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 Yeah. Now, all of you who have knee issues, just place your hand there. Let me just seal your miracle. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, either here or here, all of you together, I declare healing for you, perfection in Jesus' name. Yes, Benga. Go ahead. He came here very, very sick. He said he had also pain. So he went to the medicals. They yes. gave him drugs, but he was still feeling it. But immediately you mentioned I it think we should celebrate our doctors. They are doing an amazing work at the medical session. Very intelligent, skilled people giving their heart and their all to the Lord. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. The pains are gone. Completely. The pains are gone. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. You mentioned the case, but now she's no longer feeling it. How long has this been? I've been having it uh, for a very long time, but ever since I started praying for my sister because she has a kidney, yes. sickle cell, gallbladder stone. So ever since I started praying for her, I don't know whether they were just attacking me. So anytime I take in that hotness, will just remove the pregnancy. So And sometimes I can't even, my cloth, just for my cloth to stay, relax on my body, I can't. I must open like because it's too hot that I need to get something cold to touch it. But immediately you talked about healing. So the, the whole thing now started coming down. It's not as bad as, as it used to be. So right now, I'm not feeling that hotness Come. in my womb. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Don't cry. This is your sister's photo. Job 42 verse 10. And the Lord turned again the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friend. I pray in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Lay your hands there. And watch a miracle happen for you right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare for you and for your sister, let there be a miracle right now. Yeah. And whatever has been responsible for these miscarriages, we curse it by the God of heaven. Yeah. Go and return back a joyful mother of children. Yeah. In Jesus' name, God bless you. <laughs> Completely. Check yourselves. Okay. All of you with shoulder issues in Jesus' name, we may just take two, two, and then I'll pray. I know that there are so many people. Now, listen, every time you're unable to testify here real time, you can always register your testimony and then let us know. Um, by the way, week all week long, the media lines are open. You can always register your testimony. And then I know that we have a lot of people and sometimes we're constrained by time, but it is good for God's people to know that God is at work in your life, feel secured, feel safe to share your testimonies. It doesn't have to be a healing miracle in any area at all. Praise the name of the Lord. We'll see how God will grant us grace to dedicate a little more time. Testimonies are powerful. They are attestations of the love, the power, the grace of God, and we don't downplay them at all. Praise the name of the Lord. So let's take two, maybe two each, and then we'll just pray generally for the rest. Yes, ma'am. Ah. Let her speak. Okay, I had a lump on my shoulder here. Wow. And it was really conspicuous and it, it, was, it just kept growing. But it has shrunk. 
completely. Give Jesus praise. Creative miracles by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we declare every growth it leaves never to return. In Jesus' name, I pray. Give Jesus praise. The last person, please. The pains are gone. Back pain. Back pain. Check yourself, my dear. Any pain? Any pain? Completely gone. In Jesus' name, perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Apostle. You gave a word of knowledge about someone that is lactating. Wow. How long has this been? Since 2019. 2019? Yes. And I this was... has happened to you? Yes, sir. And what happened to you now? I went to the bathroom. You went check. out to check yourself? Yes, I went It's to gone. Me. Come on, Koinonia. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare perfection for your body in Jesus' name. Yes, please. So, sir, this is, she's been healed, her ankle, and she's had her eyes for two years. She couldn't see. Right now, she can actually see. Then mama back in. Several testimonies, Apostle. Oh Hold and on. Every... I'm interested in these two. Our time is gone, but can I pray for you, madam? How long has this been? It started since March this year. Since March. Check yourself now. Any pain? Completely gone. I decree and declare it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Yes, madam? Since two years now, I've not been seen very well. Every... What couldn't you see? everything i always have severe pains in my eyes before i will sleep i will always apply this uh, eye drop every night every day before going to bed but today i came with the severe pain seriously but after your prayers everything just disappeared i can't feel any pains anymore hallelujah and i can see very well you now. can see clearly very well. place your hands on your eyes in the name of jesus christ i declare and i decree spiritually and physically may you truly begin to see in the name of jesus perfection for your vision now i pray for all of you i'm sure that many of you thank you by the way for the courage to come intending to testify for constraint of time we may not be able to testify now but i pray for you every miracle you have received and those at the overflow those following from whatever nation in jesus name it remains so it remains permanent never to return again we declare that you are blessed now you are blessed forever in jesus name i pray please rise up on your feet stretch your hands here we're about to pray this is a very prophetic hour right now our time is gone but please be patient this is a very critical part of the miracle service where we get to pray over the requests just stretch your hands towards me as i agree we have a covenant of answered prayers with the lord if there are still more please bring it quickly so that we have it here please begin to pray and decree and declare these egyptians i see today i see them no more forever please make sure you pray god of vengeance has fight my battle for me God of miracles has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my battles for me. God of vengeance, God of vengeance has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. Please stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray. Father, God of heaven, please pray. You are receiving by faith. We are crying to the God of heaven. Just pray.
in the name of Jesus why do we pray over our requests because the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 to be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says to make our request known let your request be made known this is the most accurate representation of our desires our frustrations our constraints no matter how we prophesy we're not able to reach as many people but this is everyone's genuine desire nobody reads it this is between you and your maker but I stand in the name of Jesus by the privilege of priesthood and I declare over this request that these Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever every shame and every disappointment written here represented here by the power that raised Christ from the dead it is torn to joy every closed door that is responsible for this request here we command those doors to be open now father i pray and call upon you who is the god of all flesh who has sent us standing in the midst of your people i decree and declare lord let every one of these prayer requests be turned to testimonies in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and for those who are not here but you wrote for them may the angel of the lord's presence right from this place go to their homes their nations and bring strange miracles for them please lift your hands to receive the blessing father I want you to believe right now the anointing you need for the results that your destiny needs to command I pray for you you don't have to bring those under the anointing outside now in the name of Jesus whether in ministry whether in politics in business there are parliamentarians here there are people from everywhere there are business people veterans in business civil service i pray the unction required for the next level of your results i stand here and i declare let it come upon you now <laughs> that before miracle service before miracle service june i decree and declare you will check all these requests and you will not find any left. And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Whoever must send for you in this season, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may the book of remembrance be opened now. If there's anyone here that the spirit of death is trailing or trailing your family members whether death through the air by sea by land in the name of Jesus we speak to the spirit of death you stay clear of them now <laughs> hallelujah every long-standing issue that has refused to answer to the name of the Lord I agree with you in the name of Jesus Christ let it be answered tonight <laughs> hallelujah whatever has failed in your hands in the name of Jesus go back and succeed whatever has refused to walk in your hands i declare go back and succeed for those of you in ministry fresh fire for the new season those of you in business fresh connections and illumination those in politics parliamentarians supernatural grace in the name of jesus and then i pray for your spiritual life there is always an emphasis 
on our relationship with Jesus Christ, our passion and our hunger. I'm going to make the altar call shortly, but let me pray for your spiritual life. You go up today, you are down tomorrow. You pray today, then you ignore the prayer altar. You study today, then you ignore it. The grace for consistency. Take that grace now. Grace for prayer, fasting, word study, worship. May that grace rest upon you now. Can we pray over favor? Father, upon your people, the proof of favor is not just money. The proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men. I pray for you. Everybody who must consider you in the name that is above all names, find favor with them. Find favor with systems. Find favor with structures. Find favor with government. Find favor with captains of industry find favor with gatekeepers in the name of Jesus Christ and everything you came with tonight as a point of contact I declare by the spirit of the living God whether it's a document your credentials whatever it is I release my faith and I agree with you even as you have lifted it up you remain lifted in the name of Jesus Christ shame and reproach we call it by name and we banish it from your life in the name of Jesus Christ very quickly there are people here who are saying apostle our time is gone but we need Jesus please if you can I know that we've been standing for a long time let's minimize movement let's just honor these ones the overflow outside those in right to the basement and those within this auditorium there are people saying apostle haven't seen what the lord has done in this place i know that my relationship with jesus needs to be mended i need to start a relationship or i need to rededicate my life we have just two minutes for you aside from those outside those inside and then the overflows outside there please i want you to quickly take a step of faith and come and stand here you want to give your heart to jesus you want to rededicate your life i want you to leave your seat right now let's celebrate them someone has to summon that courage to come and stand here koinonia is this the best you can do keep coming quickly my soul says yes says yes says yes my soul says yes says yes keep standing one minute please quickly come and join them my soul says yes says yes says yes my soul says yes I salute every one of you for the courage to come to Jesus the Bible says as many who will come please join them quickly if you're joining them please those coming from outside allow them to come very quickly so that they join the Bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away lift your right hand to Jesus and say it convincingly let it also be from the depth of your heart say Lord Jesus say it again say Lord Jesus I believe in you that you are the son of god tonight i declare that jesus is my savior i declare that jesus is my lord i declare that jesus is my king i receive forgiveness of sin i receive the life of god i declare that i go for whatever and backward never in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted father thank you for these ones they have come in response to your love and I commend them to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit I declare that you are partakers of the life of God you are benefactors of the gift of righteousness the abundance of grace and you begin to reign from tonight forward ever and backward never 
in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord bless you the Lord honor you in Jesus name now very quickly I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands with the placard please follow them very quickly let's celebrate them koinonia dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline 